Hello and welcome back. Amber here and today we are going to take a look at the new Netflix Three Body Problem trailer and break it down. As of right now, the time I recorded this video, the trailer has racked up over 7 million views. My favorite thing about the trailer is that if you haven't read the books, it looks wild. People wearing clothing from all different types of eras in our own history, people flying in the air, blood-covered walls, aliens, and virtual reality headsets. If you liked shows like Dark or 1899, this might be something up your alley. Season 1 will pose a mystery. Someone or something is attacking the world's most brilliant scientists, and we will be presented multiple time jumps from within the story, when a fateful decision in 1960s China echoes across space and time to a group of scientists in the present, forcing them to face humanity's greatest threat. It does seem that Netflix is taking some liberties with the source material by bringing characters from later in the series in early, and dividing a main character into multiple people. While this alarmed some fans, it could also be a good choice to bring in a larger scope of the story. I typically like to refrain from any judgment about source material changes until I can watch the season as a whole, so that's what I'm gonna do. The one thing I want to point out is that the Three Body Problem book is written by Chinese author Sixin Luo, and the landscape of the characters in the books are also Chinese with a few exceptions. But the story itself isn't necessarily just a Chinese story, but also a human story with themes like the nature of scientific progress, the limitations of human knowledge, and the consequences of encountering the unknown. It's deeply philosophical and an award-winning speculative science fiction trilogy. And if you're someone who likes to go in knowing nothing, this video might not be for you. I will be talking a little bit about the backgrounds of certain characters and break down all of the moments within the trailer. I'm really excited to cover this series, and if you have watched the Chinese adaptation by Tencent, I have a whole series covering those episodes as well. If you like these types of videos, make sure you let me know by liking this one and subscribe to the channel. So let's begin with the first scene. We first see police captain Shi Quang, who also goes by the nickname De Shi. He's inspecting the scene of a crime, where a wall is covered in a red liquid with a countdown and the words, I still see it. He says, Christ, another countdown, to infer that this isn't an isolated incident. We then move to the character of Augie Salazar on an airplane. From her point of view, we see her vision is obscured by a red countdown. In the next scene, we see her speaking with De Xie, asking what happened to them. I take this to mean that she wants to know what happened to the other scientists, that have experienced the same countdown or who have died because someone or something is targeting them. We next see a victim who appears to have drowned face down in the bathtub. We then move to Thomas Wade, who in the books works for an intelligence agency. He says, they're going after our best and brightest. We then see a corkboard with the photos and names of scientists. We then see a glimpse of the ship Judgment Day. In the books, this is the vessel of a man named Mike Evans, who is a conservationist and the son of a wealthy oil magnate. As we see Evans' ship, we hear the words, there is someone behind everything, leading the audience to wonder, is Evans somehow responsible for the attacks? Before the words are finished, the sentence saying, you just have to dig, we see the face of a show-only character named Tatiana. It's possible she will take over the role of the book character Shen Yufei, but only time will tell. If I had to guess, I'd assume the trailer is setting up these two characters to be possible antagonists. We then see what looks like a military group of soldiers inside some type of warehouse. The camera then cuts to Thomas Wade. What's not apparent is if he is in the same warehouse with the soldiers, or if it's empty and he's there at a different time. Is he inspecting some type of crime scene, or is he their leader? 
In the next scene, we see De She remove a virtual reality headset out of a safe while wearing gloves. This is obviously a clue or evidence he's found while trying to solve the mystery. We then hear the words, Whatever it is, it's watching and listening, followed by a surveillance station spying on the characters Jack Rooney and Jin Chang, who I'm assuming will also play scientists. In the surveillance station, you can see that Jack and Jin are wearing late 14th century clothing and overlooking lava and fire with a burned body on the ground. We can also see an image of the character known as Sofan, known for her trademark katana. In the books, a large section of the story takes place within a virtual reality game called Three Body, and the television show has decided to bring in Sofan early and make her an in-game avatar. Speaking of it, the video game proposes a mystery itself, and those who enter are tasked with solving it. The next scene is what looks like the Westminster Bridge in London, with the bodies of people hanging from lampposts. Were these people killed? Is it a mass suicide? Is this actual reality? Or something inside virtual reality? Are these the scientists that are being attacked? There's nothing in the books to explain this image, so I'll have to ask my dear viewers, what do you think is going on here? We then see the character De She, Jin and Saul in a field of locusts, and it cuts quickly to the setting of a laboratory. Within the room, we see a man in a lab coat, Thomas Wade, Jin Chang, and two unidentified characters. The man in the lab coat opens a lid of some type of chamber. Next, we see Augie and Saul looking up into a clear night sky while the universe winks at them followed by a woman standing at the front of a crowd like a cult leader and the music stops, a finger presses a button. Next, we see the character named Vera Ye, who I assume will replace the book character of Yang Dong, Ye Wenjia's brilliant scientist daughter. She says, do you believe in God? Then walks off the ledge of what looks like a particle accelerator to her death. After that, we see characters Saul and Will look up as a very large object blocks their view of the sky. Next, we have a lot of quick scenes in succession. A plane flies over a wrecked boat on a river in the jungle. A little boy looks scared, and a crowd of people in the street look up, and a rocket launches. After that, we see a large parabolic antenna dish located at Raider Peak, a Chinese national defense project. We also get our first glimpse of one of the main characters, Ye Wenjia. This segment of the story takes place in the 1960s, during the Chinese Cultural Revolution. Ye Wenjia is considered a political dissident, but given her knowledge in astrophysics, she is employed at a secret military radio station. As she looks up at the antenna, all the birds flying overhead fall to the ground dead. We then move to our scientists who walk through the remains of a crash site where whatever was destroyed looks like it's been sliced into many layers. Our next scene is our first image of present day Mike Evans on his ship holding a little card. Back in London, Thomas Wade, Jin Chang, and Raj Varma look up at the sky and we see a sprawling Chinese city lit up at night while it reflects from a massive structure covering the sky. And this is very cool because I've discovered an Easter egg within the shot showing a building with Chinese characters that when translated says, you are bugs, which is honestly such a fun inclusion. We then see people running and evacuating a building while a man in a similar uniform to an earlier scene leads them out of the building. This is followed by a woman holding a gun with people running in the background. The next parts of the trailer deal with a lot of the virtual reality segments. Thomas Wade and Jin are shown with the headset. Jin says, prepare yourself for something very strange. And Thomas Wade puts on the headset and it cuts to two people on horseback riding towards a temple while thousands of soldiers hold a white squared object. 
We then see a dark room in an ancient building where multiple objects rolled up like scrolls float in water. A horse on fire rides into the temple from outside and rears up on its hind legs. Then Jack Rooney delicately scoops up a bug and gently blows it off of his hand. Three men in historical garments overlook the thousands of soldiers as some force sucks them into the air while Jin and Jack cling to a fountain. The next two images take place underwater. A shriveled up hand of some type of otherworldly creature opens its hand and we see Sofan floating. After that, the elements change again. Instead of fire or water, we see people running to safety in what looks like a blizzard. Within this world of the game, things are very chaotic due to the planet having three suns, which is where the series gets its name. There are three bodies in the sky. This is our final scene taking place within virtual reality, and the end of the trailer had a final scene of Thomas Wade as they look up at an alien-looking structure in the sky. As you can hear the words, there's nothing you can do to stop them, the structure charges up, explodes with light, and then unfolds into the show title, Three Body Problem. So, overall, it seems like the show will have multiple plot points. One being the past with Ye Wenjia and her time in the 60s during the Cultural Revolution, the present, where brilliant scientists are mysteriously being targeted, and all the segments that take place during the virtual reality gameplay, where players have to solve a mystery of their own. The visuals look really incredible. The story seems to change a little bit from the books, but I'm really excited to see what Benioff and Weiss have come up with to deliver a story with such an immense scope. Before I end, I want to theorize a little bit and this section will have book spoilers, so if you haven't read the entirety of the trilogy, I'd suggest that you end the video now. So let's talk a little bit about Thomas Wade. There's a particular scene taking place within a laboratory where we see some type of cryogenic chamber. Since we know Wade is somewhat of an endgame character, I think it might be possible that he decides to go into hibernation to arrive later on in the series. I also have to ask if it's possible any of our scientists will take over the roles of some of the common era book characters like Chang Zing. One of the Netflix characters has a similar name, Jin Chang. Is it possible she will overtake that role and we spend time with her over the course of season one? Will she go into hibernation with Wade? There's so many questions I have, and I'm really excited to see what will come of it. That wraps up my coverage of the trailer. If you have any theories of your own, let me know in the comment section. Please try to announce spoilers in there and let me know what you're most excited to see. Thanks for watching, and I will see you back for more 3Body coverage.